Unit 9, Back to the Future. Page 54, Exercise 2. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. The neighborhood sure has changed. What was this place like before, Grandpa? Well, there used to be a grocery store right here on this corner. Hmm, it was pretty quiet. Not many people lived here then. These days, the population is growing fast. Yeah, I bet they'll tear down all these old buildings soon. In a few years, there will be just malls and high-rise apartments. Hey, that doesn't sound too bad. No, but I'll miss the old days. Page 55. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Time Contrasts. Past. In the past, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of high-rise apartments. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people lived to around 60. Nowadays, people live to about 75. In the future, people are going to live even longer. Page 55, Exercise 4, Pronunciation, Intonation, Part A, Listen and Practice. Notice the intonation of these sentences. Thirty years ago, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there might be a computer in every home. Page 56, Exercise 5, Listening. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. What change has each person noticed? Are things better or worse than they were? 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? 
Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with little children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 57, Exercise 8, Conversation, Part A, Listen and Practice. Ugh, I feel awful. I really have to stop smoking. So why don't you quit? Well, if I quit, I might gain weight. A lot of people do, but... And if I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into any of my clothes. Well, you can always go on a diet. Oh, no, I'm terrible at losing weight on diets. So if my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy new ones. I'll have to get a part-time job, and... Listen, it is hard to quit, but it's not that hard. Do you want to know how I did it? Page 57, Exercise 8, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What advice does Luis give Jody? How does Jody respond? Well, giving up smoking isn't really as hard as you think. I managed to do it, so it can't be that difficult. You should try nicotine gum. You chew it just like regular chewing gum, and you don't feel like smoking. Well, I guess it's worth a try. Page 57, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Conditional sentences can describe situations and consequences that are possible in the present or future. Possible situation with present tense forms. If I quit smoking. Consequence with future modals will, may, or might. I might gain weight. If I quit smoking, I might gain weight. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into my clothes. If my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy new ones. If you get a part-time job, you may be able to save some money.